To create a mail merge using Microsoft Word 2010, we click on Mailings. We click on Start Mail Merge. We have a variety of options available to us. This time we're going to use Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard so that it walks us through the mail merge process. The Mail Merge Wizard appears on the right side of our screen and the first item that we have to choose is the kind of document we're going to be creating. In this case we're going to be creating labels, so we click Next. Step 2 asks us what kind of labels we're going to be using. So we click on Label Options and in this case According to the assignment, we want Avery US label, and then we're going to migrate and scroll until we get the one that we are looking for. And in this case, it is Avery 5263. When we find our desired label, we click OK, and we're ready to move to step three, select recipients. We've already downloaded our list of recipients that it's in an Excel spreadsheet, so we're going to browse and locate that on our computer. In this case, I've saved it to my desktop, so I'm going to find it, click on it, and then click Open. I only have information on the first sheet, and my first row of data does contain column headers, so I say OK. As I look through my list of recipients, if I scroll down, I can uncheck Bob Smith, as Step 3 in my Mail Merge Instructions asks me to do. Then I say OK. Now I need to add the individual Mail Merge items that would apply to a standard mailing. So for that, I'm going to move to the next step, Arrange Your Labels. I could use an address block, but I want to be able to customize the information in each row. So to do this, I need to add the items individually. So I click on More Items, and I click First, and Last, and Close, and I'm going to put a space between the two. Then I'm going to move to a new line, click again on More Items, click Address, Insert, Close, to a new line, more items, city, state, zip, close. I put one space between city and state and two spaces between state and zip. Then an important thing that you'll want to do each time you make changes is click on update all labels. That way it knows that this is the information. Now you're going to move to the next record. This is the information move to the next record, and so on and so on. So step four in our instructions asks us to make the first and last name bold size 14. So we're going to highlight that first line, move back to the Home tab, change it to 14, and bold, and update all labels. Step five asks us to skip a line after the address block, so one, two, and add an if-else-then rule. And to do that, we click into Mailings, Rules, if then else, and if the last name is equal to Buffett, B-U-F-F-E-T, then we're going to insert the text, thank you very much. Otherwise, we're going to say, I like Jimmy Buffett music, and say OK. It says make the sentence bold italics, so we highlight it, we go back to the Home tab, bold italics, and we update all labels. So now it says, preview your labels. Okay, that looks great. I like it a lot. So I'm ready to complete my merge. Once I've completed my merge, I need to edit my individual labels. So I click on Edit Individual Labels. The Merge to New Document window opens, and I select All. I can see that Jimmy Buffett says thank you very much. Eric Cartman says I like Jimmy Buffett music. That's very good. Step 6 asks me to change the zip code for Mickey Mouse. So I scroll till I find Mickey Mouse, and it's right here, and I change from 92802 to 92602. I save my document, and save it with Mail Merge, with your initials, and then you'll upload it into the assigned folder.